Listen, check this out. I've been geeking over Perplexity AI for months now, digging deep into its capabilities. And let me tell you, Perplexity AI isn't difficult to learn and extremely easy to use, even for a complete beginner. But I haven't really discussed it on my channel. Why? Well, because I'm still a small channel that's trying to grow. And honestly, Perplexity isn't really trending. So to grow my small channel, I have to talk about trending tools like ChatGPT, which to be honest, isn't always the best. But I still use ChatGPT a lot. In fact, I use ChatGPT daily. However, I've been finding myself using Perplexity more and more each day. So I recently upgraded to Perplexity Pro and let me tell you, it's a game changer. What exactly is Perplexity? Well, Perplexity, unlike ChatGPT or Claude, is a conversational search engine marketed as an answer engine that answers queries using natural language predictive text. Think of it like ChatGPT meets Google search. So what makes it so good? Perplexity was launched in 2022 and generates answers using sources from the web citing links within its responses perplexity is free to use and the free product uses its model based on OpenAI's gpt 3.5 turbo model while perplexity pro has access to gpt4 claude mistral large and an experimental perplexity model perplexity ai is designed to provide up-to-date credible answers and leverages ai like OpenAI's gpt4 and anthropics claude it offers a user-friendly interface and the ability to understand understand context, providing more accurate and personalized answers. In other words, it doesn't hallucinate and it does fact checking. It provides cited links on where it got the information from. There are so many cool features and I'll show them all to you today, even cover special tips, tricks, and hidden features of perplexity that most people end up missing out on. By the end of this video, you'll be a perplexity AI expert. First, let's start in our settings. First things first, enable dark mode. Now under profile, here is where many Many people forget to set up. They forget to set up this profile. And under profile, you can introduce yourself for personalized answers, share any information or instructions that the AI should know. Your profile is private and only used to instruct the AI. So you can introduce yourself, share as much as you'd like. You can, here's an example prompt they use. I'm a software engineer who likes to play guitar and go hiking. You can set up your location and your preferred response language. But why should you set up your profile? Well, it's kind of like uh, custom instructions for or perplexity. You'll be able to let the AI understand a little bit about you so it can refine its responses to you. So besides the profile, there's a download icon where you can download the iOS app, Android app. You can set your Chrome default search engine to perplexity and they also have a Chrome extension. Now back to the home page. Here's where you can ask it anything you want. For example, if you click here, you can write anything out or it'll give you what is trending right now. We can see opening eyes, new board of directors. Google engineer trade secret theft. They got a bunch of things here in the drop down, and you can also attach files, images, text, PDFs. Now, if you look over pro, you get 600 searches per day, which is a lot by the way, and you can select pro. I'm a pro member, but what's the difference between pro and free? So what is perplexity pros? Pro search, our interactive search companion excels at handling ambiguous queries. It asks clarifying questions as needed and delivers extensive extensively researched answers with significantly improved accuracy. It says 300 daily, but I have 600. So besides the pro features, let's cover this focus area. So this focus area, we have all where we can search all of across the entire net. We have Wolfram. Wolfram, it'll help you solve advanced computational queries that need a lot of calculations and data analysis. For example, convert 100 rows to USD is an example that they use. And then you got academics, which will search in published academic papers so you can get real fine-tuned with your research they got youtube discover and watch videos you can do custom things through the youtube search kind of like google's gemini and here writing writing we can write just like you would in chat gpt or claude it won't connect to the internet and of course reddit we got a reddit option search for discussions and opinions under reddit under discover it's sort of like this section where it's going to drop down trending news if you click on discover you'll get more more trending news topics you can take a look at and for library so for the library each search that you do in perplexity will fall under your library under threads it's called threads but I look at it like search history or your chat history. Then we got this collection section. This is pretty cool. So under the create collections, you can name it anything you want. For example, vacation planning they use. You can give it an emoji. You can do a description of what this collection is. And then you'll be able to give it a custom prompt. 
So in this example, they say, you are a travel agent. Help me plan my trip around boutique hotels, local food and museums. And you can make it shareable or secret. If you make it shareable, you can share the link. Let's say with a group of friends you're planning a vacation with. You can share that link and you guys can all plan together and use the same perplexity collection. Uh, let's dive right in and see how this is. Okay, I just vacation planning. Let's give it an emoji and it's planning a trip to New Zealand. Here you can give it um optional AI. I you are a travel agent help me plan my trip so i'll just use that you are a travel agent help me to plan my trip accordingly create that so now we'll see a collections tab we can multiple different collections vacation planning or youtube video ideas etc from here It'll give you some suggestions. Uh, what are some must visit natural attractions in New Zealand? Some natural attractions in New Zealand that you can check out. And because this is pro, I have the GPT-4 model enabled, which gets really precise. It'll list a lot of things compared to like the free version. It'll just kind of like summarize it for you. And as you can see, I'm using the GPT-4 turbo model. And when you're done, you'll see what I was talking about, the threads here. You can just delete that for now. And if you want to delete your collections you can click on the collection the top three button delete collection and confirm so i covered the basics of perplexity and one of the things i like is that with perplexity pro can use the latest claude model or gpt4 model let me show you so under perplexity pro we have an ai model right here that you can select claude 3 and all the different models i usually use gpt4 the only downfall is that the claude model is limited to five opus answers per day so if we use the claude 3 model we're limited to five opus answers per day and you might be wondering what is opus so opus is basically just claude's new model which by the way costs 20 bucks per month to use and with perplexity pro you'll get five uh limited queries per day using this model personally i prefer the way claude writes over gpt for especially when it comes to blog writing so hopefully in the near future perplexity can lift that five limit per day now another thing i need to show you guys with perplexity pro is the ability to generate images with playground dolly 3 and stable diffusion so in our settings we have a settings here image generation model we can use the playground v2 dolly 3 and stable diffusion excel model so let me demonstrate the image generation and perplexity so let's head over to the settings and i'll work my way down down the list starting with the playground model and in order to generate an image we need to start a thread by simply typing anything you want i'll select writing so it doesn't search the web and we need to start with something so i'll use create an image of a cyborg now just a quick note when i type this it's going to say something like i can't do that but i'll show you in a bit i'm really glad you're interested in creating concepts like cyborgs however i should clarify that my capabilities are focused on providing information answer questions so it's going to say that it can't generate images images for you but once it's done let me stop the generation okay so once it's done you'll see this options right here this is where you're going to generate the images so you'll first need to create a thread in order to generate the image and we have different styles here photograph illustration diagram painting and here under the custom prompt we can select that and we can see that it has kind of like a prompt set up already so i'll just keep it real simple cyborg and for the style i'll just use surreal we'll click submit what it will do it'll use the playground model that i selected earlier and generate that image and that's pretty good it'll show you playground ai it'll show you the model that it used that's pretty cool okay so let me go back into my settings and change the playground to dolly 3 and i'll go back into this thread and we can generate another one but you'll have to set this prompt all the time so i'll just a cyborg and surreal style now this should generate with the dolly 3 model it does take a while but as far as limitations for image generations i haven't reached any limits so far and so here we go it generated a dolly 3 image these images are pretty cool last but not least let's check out the stable diffusion excel model again i'll just go back i change the settings in my settings and went back to the same thread we'll have to change the prompt to reflect the other prompts that we use which is just a cyborg and surreal style submit so this will generate a stable diffusion excel model image that's the three images that we get to choose from so here's sdxl here's dolly 3 and here's playground their newest model they introduced 
was pretty cool. But having access to these three different image generation models is pretty cool, along with having access to GPT-4 and Cloud Opus for writing. Flexity is pretty dope. Another thing, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know that I do stocks. It's also in my link tree and Perplexity just announced an IPO. Let's go use Perplexity. Perplexity AI IPO. So we'll be able to buy Perplexity stock soon, very soon. I'm not sure when the exact date is, but if you're into that kind of thing, keep an eye out for that. However, another feature that I wanted to show you is this rewrite feature. So after you generate something, after you generate a thread, you'll be able to rewrite this. So if you're not satisfied with this settings, you'll be able to rewrite it using the pro search experimental GPT-4 turbo, which is the model that it wrote in or the Claude, which is limited to five. But let me rewrite it in using the Claude model to show you. As far as the Minstrel model, I believe that's what the free version of Perplexity uses. So one of the cool things and what I love a lot about Perplexity is these uh, sightings. It'll cite the web information where it got the information from. So it does all the fact checking for you. And this was written with the Claude 3 Opus model. Another cool thing is the related searches that you can continue asking follow up questions. What is the current valuation of Perplexity AI? What is the latest funding but let me show you something cool right here so remember how we don't need to go back and forth between claude and chat gpt we'll be able to just create a new thread right inside of perplexity change our focus to writing and we can enter a custom prompt based on this perplexity info let's say i wanted to write a blog post about this i could simply grab my custom prompt i have a custom prompt somewhere i'll leave a link if you guys want to use this custom prompt so created this custom prompt where you can just open a new thread first let's let me open my custom prompt you can take this answer that perplexity gave you with all of its fact checking paste information here with that information and use this as a prompt and what we'll do is make a new thread under focus we'll change it to writing and we'll generate and it should write a blog post for us this right here is a header one. And the training begins, founded in 2022. This right here, you can tell it's a H2, does it flawlessly. So that's one way to use perplexity, or at least how I use perplexity. And part of that is taking the fact checking information and rewriting it into a blog post with a custom prompt. And then if you need images, you can just generate an image for your blog post straight all into perplexity. Now you got an article based on the information. You got images that you can generate and use and you can keep generating images. Let's say you want one, two, three, four, five, six, six images. You can just generate six images. You'll be able to take this information and post it to your blog if this is what your blog's about. Another thing that you can do is change the focus to YouTube and prompt it something like, give me five links for perplexity IPO. Provide me only the links, nothing more. This will give you the links to YouTube videos that you can use on your blog posts instead of using images. This also provides external links to your page, which Google is currently loving. The possibilities are endless. So why am I sharing all this? Well, because I think it's important to shine a light on tools that might not be in the spotlight yet, but have incredible potential to change how we interact with information online. Speaking of AI tools with incredible potential, if you haven't seen my latest video, which didn't get so much love from YouTube, I suggest you watch it here. This video is all about the top AI tools that can totally change the game for you. From coming up with endless content ideas to speeding up your editing process and even sorting out your voiceovers, it's all covered. Make sure you check it out. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. If you plan to use Perplexity Pro, I added a link in my link tree, which you can find in the description below.